Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. What we're gonna be doing today on the Evo is installing an oil catch can. This is long overdue. I've been needing to get a catch can on this car for a while now. Real quick before we jump into installing the catch can on the car, I'll kind of briefly explain what it is. So all it is guys, it's a can that sits in the ventilation system of the crankcase and the reason you need, I'll try to keep this short and sweet, the reason you need it, especially on a boosted car, is to keep oil from going back into the intake truck. That's all it really is. There's a lot more scientific stuff behind it. But for the sake of this video, let's just keep it short and sweet. The catch can I decided to pick up for the Evo, and a lot of people recommend these for the Evo, is the Radium Catch Can. I just went with the single can. They do sell a dual can setup as well, but if you guys want to pick this one up, I'll have a link down in the description box below, as well as the dual can setup down in the description box below. All right, let's get this thing opened up. Yeah, it's kind of dusty. It's been sitting for a while, but there's just going to be a few hoses. That's a hanger, a few more fittings, and here is the catch can itself. This is a very, very simple design. That's why I decided to go with it, and they include a very clean looking bracket. There's a few different catch cans available for the Evo 10s, but this is the one I decided to go with for a few different reasons. I am just gonna set the camera down, get everything opened up, and start assembling it. First thing I wanna do is just get the catch can on the hanger. There'll be a little packet with four Allen head screws in there. These four are for attaching the hanger to the catch can. Now there will be two fittings that are gonna screw into the catch can. So the fitting with the bigger outlet on it goes to the side port. The fitting with the smaller outlet that threads onto the elbow right there, that's gonna go onto the top port. All right, the last thing we need to do is just tighten these fittings down using a one inch wrench. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, come over here, bust open this hood. And if you're still running the factory engine cover like I am, go ahead and pop that off. We may need to trim that later on or you could just not run it. Set it off to the side and you're gonna wanna grab a set of pliers. This hose right here that connects to the PCV valve, this one right here. We're gonna slide that off, slide off that clamp and then we can remove the hose. It'd be a good time right now to check that PCV valve. I literally just did and made sure that was good to go. You're also gonna wanna pull off that bottom clamp as well, right down here on this intake and then we can remove the hose. All right guys, that's all you need to remove from your engine. The half inch hose is gonna connect to there. The three eighths hose is gonna connect there. So the catch can is gonna bolt to the headlight bracket right there. And then there's a threaded hole right there. It's gonna bolt to. So we need to get some of these AC lines bent out of the way. Just gotta create some clearance for this catch can. It's gonna sit right down in that hole. Something like that. That should be enough. Let's pull out this bolt for the headlight. Just a 10 millimeter socket. All right, let's grab our hardware. So we're gonna have one flat washer and then these two Ellen head screws here. And let's go get this catch can bolted onto the car. All right, catch can's on the car. Everything's clearing, the AC lines are clearing. Let's grab our half inch hose. I pulled it off just to get this catch can installed, but it's gonna connect. The half inch hose is gonna go on the side port down here. Slip it on like that, and then connect to the intake manifold right there. That is pretty dang long in my opinion, so I am going to trim that up a little bit. All right, that's a much better fit. I also routed it on the outside of this AC line here just so it doesn't come in contact with that pulley at all. But right now we need to get some clamps on there. All right, the lower line is ran and routed exactly how I want it. Now it's time to connect this line right here. That hose goes to this PCV valve right there. Same thing I did before, I'm just gonna trim it into place and then throw some clamps on it. I'm actually gonna be using the spring clamps off of the factory hose. These two clamps here, those should work perfect. All right, all right. Last step is to get this little hose protector on. And where they want you to run this is where this line or the hose is touching the AC line right there, just so it doesn't wear through at all. It's split in half, as you guys see there. Just slip that over the hose and you're done. All right, quick little recap. Catch can sits there, 3 8 line comes off the top and runs to the PCV. Lower line is a half inch, comes off the side port, goes to the intake manifold. For the single catch can, the double catch can, the setup is a little bit different, but that is 100% done, 100% complete. Now, if you want to run this engine cover, you're gonna have to trim it a little bit right up in there to clear that hose. Let's see how much you'd have to trim this thing. I don't really see 
where they want you to trim it at. It's clearing everything just fine. All right, do you guys see why I went with this radium catch can? On the car, it literally looks factory, looks stock. One of the main reasons why I went with it, if you can't tell, I'm trying to keep this thing somewhat stock looking under the hood. That's why I'm still running that engine cover. To the naked eye, someone opens the hood. Wow, you have an intake on the car. But then if you come take a closer look at it, you're like, oh, damn, you have a full ETS kit on here. It's a big ass turbo. That's how I like it. That's how I want it. And yeah, that's just my personal preference. All right, my friends, that is gonna be it for this video. Like I mentioned earlier, the single and dual radium catch cans will be linked down in the description box below. So if you wanna pick one of those up, make sure you guys go use those links. Now, one thing to remember, since it is a catch can, not an AOS or an air oil separator, you do have to drain it. I'll probably be checking mine and draining it probably oil, every oil change, just cause I don't drive the car that hard. It all depends on how often, how hard you drive the car. If you're tracking it, I would probably recommend draining it right after the track day, right before, maybe right after the track day. Radium does sell a Petcock drain valve thing. It's like $30. I'm gonna throw it down below. It makes it super easy to drain if you're tracking the car all the time. It's just a little petcock that goes on the bottom of the catch can. It's a little valve, you open it, drains the can, and then you close it, closes the can. Yo guys, I almost forgot to give it away or do the giveaway for that Supreme toe strap. I can't forget to give that thing away. So let's go do this right now. So on this video, there's a total of 120 comments. I'm pretty sure every, pretty much every single one of them was for the, for the giveaway. Let's see who the winner is. Victor Agu. Elar, Victor Aguilar, cut out looks hot boy though. So my man Victor, the uh, Supreme Toast Strap is yours bro. Go ahead, shoot me a DM on Instagram at DVNemola. I'll get it signed and sent out to you. I'll probably clean it too because it's kind of disgusting from chilling on the FRS. But yeah, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I right, my fam. Thank you for watching this episode of the Evo X. I'll see you in the next video.